Hi everyone, Jamie here. Thanks for watching today. Today, Made to Surprise are launching a new collection where you can make 3D display cards and a stand. I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the collection and show you the samples that I've made. Sam will be live on Craft Stash today at 12.30 where you can see the collection in more detail, view all of the samples and watch Sam demonstrate. So let me go through everything with you. So I'll just show you this first of all. So this is the um, 3D display cards and stand die set. So this is basic, basically your core item for this collection if you want to make the 3D display cards and stand. So you've got a number of circle dies in here. This die here then covers the outer of the circle and also your stand. You've got your mats and layers for your stand. This is your base. You've also got a swinging element. And then this die here is to help you build upon in your display card. You'll see what I mean when I show you the samples. So to sit alongside that, we've got three editions. So we've got the bubbles edition. So we've got this really lovely embossed bubble frame here. And then we've got some ducks and also some singular bubbles and a trio of bubbles, etc. for you to die cut and emboss. Then we have the circular frame additions die set. So you've got this darker circle here is the um, outer circle, and then you've got an inner circle then with the numbers to represent a clock. You've got the hands, the face, and you've got happy hour. So you've got happy, hour in one in one die and then you've got the shadow die as well then we've also got the floral additions die set so you've got two frames here so you've got this scalloped edge with the stitch detail and then just um, a plain circle you've got some flowers butterflies some bugs and a fairy and then to match with the whole collection, we have five themes. So we've got garden. So this will cover a number of occasions, but you've got happy retirement, garden party. I have plants this weekend. I think that's so fun. Enjoy the little things in life, keep growing. And you've got all these fun um, dyes here. You've got the gnome, the fence, seeds, etc. So then we've also got the Cheers set, which is an A6 stamp and die set. So all these elements here are dies, and then you've got these stamps. So we've got Celebrate with Bubbles, Lovely Bubbly, It's Party Time, Cheers and Happy Birthday. And then you've got all these dif different elements as well. So you've got the champagne bottle, the beer bottle, champagne flute corkscrew so some really nice elements there then we've got the baby set so this is the a6 stamp and die set and this will work lovely with uh, last month's collection so we've got this frame here that you can use for building blocks and then you've got one two three a b c and y so obviously you can spell out baby as well then we've got the baby grow, teddy bear, some feet, and then the stamps then here, which is baby shower, made with love, mini boss, oh baby, precious little one, baby love. And again, an another lovely set. Then we've got time. So we've got the stopwatch, cogs, alarm clock, um, different a different set of hands your calendar again some more cogs and then we have time to celebrate it's a special time i will always have time for you your time to shine i love you big time so some really nice stamps there to accompany the elements and then we have bugs so we have all of these elements uh, a die is here so we've got the butterfly we've got some ladybirds 
um, spiders and then you've got the stamp here on the side which is bugs and kisses have a bugtastic birthday friends like you can bug me any day i heard you caught a bug so again some really lovely um, sentiments that cover a number of occasions then we have this staple piece which will work with all of past collections so we've got um, large modern numbers die set so we've got the inner die and then we've got the shadow die and the ordinals and this is such a lovely set I'll just get one of the dies out so you can see the size of them so this is the inner die and you can see how large that is and then you've got the shadow die so that fits nicely inside there and that will work lovely with the um, pop-up book collection so you have a nice number big on, on one of the pages and then the poem on the other page so as I said just a brief overview of the collection um, you'll be able to find more information more detail on Sam's YouTube channel um, which is mixed up craft and I'll pop a link in the description box below for you to head over to there and have a look I have to say I've spent many hours doing my samples and I've had so much fun with this collection I've spent hours and hours just die cutting and before doing this collection I didn't really like die cutting if I'm honest with you um, but I've just thoroughly enjoyed spending the time and piecing everything together I've done lots of paper piecing on my samples um, and yeah it's been really nice to just spend the time and just get lost in well all of the samples I've got lost in but I've really enjoyed them and I hope you can tell by my finished samples how much I've enjoyed this collection so my brief for this collection was to make four 3d cards and two circular cards so I just want to show you the circular cards first of all so I have a triple easel card here which all folds flat and this is a baby theme one I do have um, a tutorial film filmed for this um, I also show you another sample I made on this video um, but I wanted to go in a different direction so I came up with this card instead so I guess that's a, a bonus inspiration for you so if you haven't seen the triple easel card before everything just stands up you pop the first one on the easel and then the other three panels sit behind the first so this is a little difficult for me to show you on camera one because it's a large card but also because of the angle um, of me trying to hold it up and hold everything in place but if you want to see more images of this um, you can have a look on Facebook or Instagram under Gemily Crafts and then I've made a garden theme rocker card so it stands up like so just balance it out and then it rocks back and forth so this is what I mean about the paper piece in I've just um, die cut it several times and piece, piece them all back together to make um, the final gnome and the tools here the watering cans and the packet of seeds and I've ink blended the background there using my handmade um, cloud stencil and we've got happy retirement enjoy the little things in life I think that's such a colorful and fun retirement card and I'm really pleased with it so this is the first of my 3d makes so it stands up like so um, it's a swinging card 
obviously I can't really show you in its true glory because I'm trying to hold it up to the camera I've gone for this teal color cardstock and I've used holographic then for all the bubbles and we've got the bright yellow ducks there in the two different sizes we've got lovely bubbly so this is my next sample so we've got the clock th theme one um, and I've just gone for full-on color in all of my samples this would be great for New Year's Eve time to celebrate it could be um, an invitation so if you're having a New Year's Eve party for example these would be great um, to send out you could also have a removable top perhaps and have some um, treats inside or something so I just think this is a really fun card and I love the the cog element just think that adds a little bit of extra interest to that card then I've gone for a 21st birthday card so it's a shaker card and we've got the lovely pattern paper if you can see that inside all the flower and butterfly elements and I've heat embossed happy birthday So again another bright and colourful card and I use pink mirror card for the entire base and I think that's turned out really nice I'm really pleased with that one and last but not least is my light up fairy garden and again I've just gone full on colour added all this lovely detail with the flowers and butterflies and mushrooms the fairy there and it says bugs and kisses I've in ink blended the background and cut some silhouette fairies then to stick down in a mushroom I've also filmed uh, a video for this not a tutorial as such um, it'll just be on high speed and I'll just explain um, the process that I followed if you want more in-depth tutorials on how to assemble these cards then I would suggest to head over to me to surprise and Sam will give you a in-depth tutorial on that just switch them off at the bottom I absolutely love this card <laughs> I think it's fantastic <laughs> uh, I'm really pleased with all the samples that I've made and as I said I've just had so much fun working with it um, I don't know how Sam keeps doing it but she does she just brings out another collection that we all fall in love with and we just have to have so there's all my samples now ready to send off to Sam let me know which one is your favourite in the comments below. The links for this collection are in the description box below. So you'll have the title of the video and then a drop down box or more. If you click on that, you'll have all the information that you need and it'll take you directly to Craft Stash where you'll find the new collection. The tutorials will be coming over the next couple of days, so just keep an eye out for those. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.